and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. No more suffering and sorrow, no more death, no more sickness, no more bloodshed, no more rape, no more murder, no more famine, no more pestilence. The universe is cleansed. And this is my personal statement right here. It's lonely without Jesus. Amen. It's lonely without Jesus. It's empty without Jesus. It's hopeless without Jesus. And I'll tell you what, the Bible says men's hearts failing them for the fear, for the things that are coming upon the earth. It's going to be very fearful without Jesus. Very fearful. If you never gave your life over to his care, or if you have and you've let that man, that old man, resurrect, why not give him your life today? And here's the thing. You can always go back. If you've never given your life to Jesus, why don't you give him your life? The Lord says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. If you give your life to the Lord, and for some unknown, strange reason, you say, I don't want it. You can go back anyway. Jesus doesn't force anybody to come, and he doesn't force anybody to stay. If you don't want to stay, you don't have to. But if you never come, why not come? Because you can always go back. But to never come and never experience and taste and see that the Lord is good is hopelessness. The choice is ours. Jesus loves us, and he wants us by his side. My prayer is that you choose Jesus. He's the best friend you could ever have. He sticks closer than any brother, any sister, any mother, any father. Because he promises, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I promise. He bought you with his own life. He wears you upon his heart. And he loves you with an everlasting love. Take his yoke upon you. Learn of him. He is meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your soul. Amen. Okay, the question. This is just between you and God. God invites us. He calls us. He's calling us today it's still. Mercy is still extended. But time is short. Mercy is not always going to be extended to us. Not always. But God is still extending it today. And if you have never given your life to the Lord, or if you have found that that old man is, is alive and active, and you want to recommit your life to the Lord, just between you and him, and come up to him who says, my yoke is easy, and my burden light, just in the quietness of this time, with our eyes closed, just raise your hand if you want to learn about Jesus. Because God's not going to call forever. And our lives are not forever here. Each one of us have this appointed day. And at a pointed time, none of us know, because our times and our lives are in his hands. Amen. So I'm just going to ask again, Young and old, while time, while we still have breath and life, is there anyone here who would like to learn of Jesus and give their life to him? It's by the raising of hands. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, that in your presence, in your love, we can have peace and rest and satisfaction. And we can have blessing and hope. And Lord, Please, Lord, I pray that every single person in this place, that not one person would be lost, that everyone would understand that this wouldn't be foolishness to them, but that they would realize this is the power of God and this is the hope of salvation and eternal life, and that they will give their lives to you, Lord, so they don't end up at the resurrection of the wicked and be destroyed in the lake of fire and miss out on the glories of eternal life and eternity for the garbage of this earth for the sewage that we live in down here. Please, Jesus, send your Holy Spirit and convict their hearts before the breath of life is taken out of them. And for those who think they're going to wait to the last moment, you may not have that opportunity. Please, Jesus, convict our hearts. Reveal in us the divine reality of this truth. And please, Lord, yoke us to your service to the law. And Lord, give us that beautiful constant so we're not just wayward and floating around on every wind of doctrine or every trouble. And Lord, let us about be about thy service. 
thy calling, your work, enough of this in-between stuff. Amen. Please, Jesus. Amen. We surrender our lives to you. And those who don't surrender their lives to you, God loves you. And remember, time is short. Don't miss out on the greatest invitation ever given to anyone in this entire universe as God calls each of us by name. Don't miss out because you really seriously regret it. Please, God. Take our hearts. We can't keep them. Take our lives, Lord. We surrender them to you. Let our wills, we give up our wills, Lord, and let them be swallowed up in your will. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.